This is a video detailing how to use the ACE 3 medical system for mission makers only. I repeat, this is for mission makers only, not general players of the game. First thing you want to do is look at your modules. The first module you want to drop is an ACE medical category and then medical settings. In that, you'll see your medical level, whether it's basic or advanced. The basic level is similar to the AGM medical system, uh, so I'm going to detail the advanced medical system. Uh, then you look at your medical setting, whether that's normal or advanced. Uh, so for normal, when you take a blood pressure for a patient, you'll get uh, either low, medium, or high. Whereas in the advanced one, it'll give you the number of the blood pressure, so 120 over 80. Uh, that's just a type of detail you can include into the game. For litter, we can enable litter, meaning that uh, after you've treated a patient, whatever you've used to treat that patient will be left on the ground, whether that's uh, bloody bandages or um, used auto-injectors. It'll give you the lifetime of the litter. Uh, set at 1600 by default. Uh, I disrecommend setting it to uh, negative one, which is forever, as uh, this could clutter the game. And I have not tested the uh, strength of the servers on uh, holding lots of litter. Uh, enable screams is uh, just screaming by injured units. You do get tooltips as you scroll over these. Uh, player damage uh, is at one, which seems to be okay currently. Uh, bullets are doing a decent amount of damage, as well as the armor on the chest rigs are pretty, quite protective. The AI damage, again, that's completely up to you if you want to set easier to kill AI or harder to kill AI. Uh, the AI unconsciousness is probably best uh, set to disabled. That stops AI going unconscious and then uh, not setting off triggers. So if you were to set a guard trigger in your mission, that requires all AI units to die for the trigger to go off. An unconscious AI may uh, disrupt your game flow. 50-50, uh, I can't give you any information on, and enabled is obviously unconscious AI. Uh, prevent instant death is usually a good one to set as yes. That means if players get shot, they don't die completely, which gives you a chance to display the medical system in your game so your medics can get to that patient. The bleeding coefficient at 1 seems to be okay currently. However, for my missions, I do like to set it to 0.8, which gives the medics a bit more time to treat uh, patients, especially if you don't have a designated medic. Uh, the pain coefficient is set to 1. I tend to turn that up a bit. However, for the ACE system, I have tested with 1, and 1 seems to be good. However, uh, the higher you set this coefficient, the more morphine you want to stock your players with. As uh, an unconscious player with a uh, high pain level, is difficult to bring back into consciousness until you give him morphine. Uh, for stink status, it is recommended to leave on. I can't give you any information on that option. Once you've done all that, you'll set OK, and the medical system module will go down. You don't need to link that to anything. And because I've used the advanced medical module, the next thing you want to look at is the advanced medical settings. So we're going to enable this for players only. Uh, you can set it for AI, however, it's unpredictable. So I haven't tested what the AI do when they're using the ACE uh, module. Uh, in AGM, I have set it to AI, and they do seem to treat each other okay. However, I haven't tested this for ACE, so for currently we're going to look at our players only. Uh, advanced wounds, even though the tooltip says you're allowed to reopen a bandaged wound, I haven't been able to find out how to do that, as well as I don't think it's incorporated yet. So I'm going to leave that as no. Uh, vehicle crashes is set to yes, that means that uh, vehicle smash, players get injured. However, uh, normal vehicle trips, uh, simple bumps in the road, which you might not think is a crash, can make players bleed. So uh, it's completely up to you what you want to set that as. It might be advised that you write in your mission notes that players should check themselves after traveling in vehicles to stop uh, bleed outs. Uh, personal aid kit will completely heal a patient as if they're a new player coming into the game and it is best uh, to set as doctors only, as these aren't part of uh, a regular medical system that you'd expect. They're a bit unrealistic in that just they're a one-time instant heal. Uh, with the personal aid kit, you can set that so it's like a the Armor 3 default medikit, which can be used on multiple patients, or you can make it a one-use only. Uh, for your locations where you can use a personal aid kit, you can set that to a range of different things. I'll explain each of these when we actually set those. So currently at the moment, I'll leave that at vehicles and facility. There's also a surgical kit. I could not find how to use the surgical kit properly. You can use it on the torso, but it doesn't seem to do any effect to the patient. So this may not be implemented yet. 
Uh, again, is the surgical kit consumable? And then the location where you can use the surgical kit. Uh, once you've set all your settings, you drop that module down. They don't need to be linked. I'm not going to unlink them. I'm not too bothered. Uh, with the revive settings, when a patient goes unconscious and they don't have a heart rate, a player that's, uh, will be prompted to give CPR to the torso. And this is the amount of time a player can be in the state where they require CPR. And once this numbers, uh, sorry, once that time has been expired, the player will die. As well as the amount of times that player can be given CPR should they go down multiple times. Uh, I believe if you leave this as disabled, they have an infinite amount of time to be revived. However, I haven't tested that. The next one to look at is the set medic class. So you'll put in the name of the unit, and then you can put that. Oh, sorry, you can set that list as either regular medics or doctors. So you can have two, so I can set a list of regular medics, and then I can set a list of doctors as separate things. So if I want this medic here to be part of the A system as a medic, then I do need to put his class in there. Uh, I'm unaware of how ACE handles pre-placed units as medics, but it's always suggested that you do put their class in here just as a backup for the module. Otherwise, the default would expect that regular medics do seem to get full medic capabilities, which uh, I have tested. The medical facility, so you hit yes on that, should you want to set a medical facility for the uh, personal aid kits and surgical kits. And the way those work is you'll put down a trigger waypoint, and you'll link that one up. And that will say that this entire area, personal aid kits, and surgical kits or whatever you've set to that uh, specific faci like medical facility can be used in that area. The last one you want to look at is the set medical vehicle. Uh, you can say yes or no. If you set no, it will be expected that because there's nothing in the list that would say everything is a medical vehicle on the map. However, I've tested that and it doesn't work. So you have to set yes and then you have to put in the uh, name of that vehicle. So you just copy paste that straight in there. Uh, if you're looking at the map just currently, this is the F3 uh, mission framework that we're using as part of Borderline Tactical, and this uh, video was made by a Borderline Tactical member. If you want inf inf sorry, any information on the Borderline Tactical network, we have forums, uh, there'll be links in the description. There'll be other videos detailing how to use the ACE, other ACE systems, such as our range tables, mortars, uh, sniping, uh, uh, a few other things, but otherwise, this mission sorry, this video is specific to mission makers only using just the medical system. Thank you.